Fourth of July festivities are in full swing throughout the Central Coast, but that also means law enforcement is in full force this holiday. KSBY News reporter Taylor Hilo spoke with different agencies about their heightened presence. Extra patrols on the ground and in the air. Local agencies are gearing up to take down illegal fireworks throughout the counties. While they hope for a quiet holiday, that's not usually how it goes. After years of complaints about illegal firework use, the city of Santa Maria is kicking things up a notch. Officially launching its new drone system, the aircraft will be patrolling the skies at 1,500 to 3,000 feet, waiting to capture illegal launches. Basically, we have to have video evidence of an actual launch on a specific property uh, that we can tie to a parcel number. From there, we can uh, administer the citation to either the occupant or the owner of the property. In a drought stricken California, the main concern for fire crews is the unpredictability of flammable materials hitting extremely dry grounds. Both agencies are heavily staffed, keeping their eyes peeled and taking a proactive approach. The fireworks that we're concerned about are obviously the ones that leave the ground in an uncontrolled fashion. So you can just park anywhere near a town and see these things going up in the air and going off. So then we would actually drive through that area to see if we can catch someone doing it. When a firework is launched into the air, the metal that is used to create the, the really nice show uh, burns between 1500 and 2000 degrees. The work isn't just day of. Cal Fire has a law enforcement team that is busy making bus before and even post 4th of July. We'll get tips that people are bringing uh, fireworks in from out of state. Uh, and sometimes those tips pay off and we're able to locate those fireworks before the 4th of July and sometimes even after. When pyrotechnics are used outside of a controlled environment, there's no plan for where that hot molten metal will land. The few minutes of fun is not worth the misdemeanor and up to $2,000 fine that comes with it. Not to mention the possibility that you could be the cause of a vegetation fire. Both agencies tell me that they're hoping that these extra precautions will be unnecessary. Instead, they hope that people will just choose to make the right decision. And while safe and sane fireworks are allowed in some areas, that's not the case everywhere. So make sure you know your regulations in your area tonight. In San Luis Obispo, Taylor Hilo, KSBY News. If you live in an area where safe and sane fireworks are allowed, fire crews say to still use caution. Do not let kids use them unattended, have a bucket of water nearby, or just go to a professional show.